Ha ha! A very good morning, my hearties. It's just me, Scotty McClure, and I thought we'd have a very quick pop-up just to say hi to you. It's Thursday morning, of course, which is wonderful, and uh, it's just coming up to 7 o'clock. The second at 7 o'clock, I will tell you, because I think that's very, very important. So there you have it. Tremendous stuff. Now then, let everybody know that Scotty McClure is uh, on the live, on the big one, and a very, very warm welcome to you. Never scroll, never troll, of course. That's how it all works. Fantastic stuff. Tell all the viewers that Scotty McClure is live, the first lord of the internet, the world's top talk show, and there are lots and lots of wonderful videos for you. So get on and have a look at those on the TikTok videos. Follow me as soon as you come on. Very, very important. And tell 10 to tell 10. There's Verita has just joined us. TTN Rugby has joined us as well. A very warm welcome to you guys. It's exactly 7 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock on Thursday, the 19th of May, 2022. You may wonder, why do I give such exact times and dates? Because I think it's very important because I've now been doing so many lives for so many years, it's difficult to keep track with what's what. Fantastic. There we are. So follow me at Scotty McClue. Click follow on the top left there, and uh, I think you hit the plus sign. Follow the host. How fantastic is that? Did you do? Just gone seven o'clock. A very, very good morning. We're only up for a few minutes to say hi. What did you think last night of the Rangers game? Do tell us if you're watching. Very, very important as well. Scotty from Hallam FM, late show in the 90s. Boberto, you're 100% correct. I am he. How lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do lots of super videos for you. Uh, Boberto. Boberto. Bebagio. Lovely to have you with us. Yes, Hallam FM, late show, late 90s. You're 100% correct, sir. How amazing is that? Tremendous. And what a superb radio station. Hallam FM. Tremendous. I remember listening to you, my man. Did you like that, Boberto? It was a very lively show, shall we say. <laughs> I think we could do with it back in Steel City. Morning, Buster. Been an early start today on the road since three. Called Brandest. You work very, very hard. Uh, now, Lix says, hi. What are your pronouns? Lix, we never, ever, ever do pronouns on Scotty McClure's TikToks. We're far, far, far too big for any of that stuff. What you'll find is asking people pronouns, what sex are they, what's the gender, any of that stuff is uh, divisive. And we don't do anything divisive on Scotty McClure. Everybody is the same. Yeah, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Do you remember that, Roberto? And the bagpipes driving everybody in Yorkshire up the wall. How fabulous was that? The afternoon, Lord Duke of the Day. And of course, huge, huge, huge listening. I mean, any radio station would give it right on to have these kind of audiences that Scotty McClure attracted. Thoughts on the result last night? Well, ooh. Uh, anyway, you know, there's no point in boo-hooing. There was enough boo-hooing uh, between Liverpool and Chelsea the other day. You'll see I've done a lot of videos on that, guys, because that's way, way, way out of order. People need to learn to behave at football matches. You know, that's the stuff. Lol, I can't believe it, you're legend. Well, what about that, Baberto? Uh, I don't know what kind of social media setup you've got, but tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that you've been talking to Scotty McClure from Hallam FM. Uh, but they didn't, did they? Uh, what's this? What are we talking about? Uh, fantastic. More likes, more likes, guys. Uh, has everybody followed? Get following as soon as you can. Very, very important. Morning, morning, medicated. Lovely to have you with us. There we are. What have we got here? Uh, acting like it means something to you because they lost. Uh, I don't know. There's a couple argy bargy on here. There's a bit of argy bargy on Scotty McClure, guys. They're argy bargy right now about the Rangers game on here. Uh, so fantastic. There we go. Uh, Cody Garbrand is having an argy bargy with Tonic Swine. Ha! <laughs> How amazing is that? The live of Scotty McClure's TikTok. Respect, guys. Respectful. Celtic fans need to stop being so obsessed with the Rangers. Well, Joel, I think that, uh, you know, Celtic feel very 
threatened by Rangers. But what I was going to say, we need to tidy things up there as well. It's not just the Liverpool-Chelsea game. Uh, what we need to do is um, ban any union flags or tricolours at games in Glasgow. So you have a Celtic flag and a Rangers flag and that's it. You know what I mean? There we are, Dinky Doo, Scotty. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. We have a title we don't mind, says Cody. There we are. Now, what have we got here? Ross County are bigger in my books, says Cody. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. What's going on? Bit of argy bargy. Hang on a sec. Just need a quick comfort break here. Woo! A quick wipe down. Because this studio, for some reason, I think it's the lights, uh, is roasting. Uh, tricolors, yeah, absolutely no tricolors. I say your tricolors, uh, you know, and no union flags. So you would ban both of these from the stadium. Uh, there we are. That's what we have now. Then I'm sorry, Uncle, but you have to go. We don't uh, countenance anything like that on here. There we are. It's a noise, people. Uh, Uncle's away doing the Swanee guys just to let you know. There we have it. Fantastic. Uh, right, do come and join us as soon as you possibly can. We're up for another few minutes. Um, we just popped up 7 o'clock, and I thought I'd say hi to everybody. Are all Scots on universal credit, alcoholics and druggies? No, Hannibal. Very, very few. So there you have it. Do you need a mod, Scotty? Um, no, I just kind of mod myself because any of these half-witted idiots that come on here attempting to troll are they uh, turned into toast and said, do the swarry right away. Never a problem. I remember you used to say the one to buckle my shoe. What does that mean exactly? Well, that's for a couple getting together and doing the one to buckle my shoe. Uh, do not agree as uh, the ditty is for the working class. Politicians are wrong to have no place there. Uh, no, I don't agree with that at all. Because uh, this working class thing is people that feel threatened um, by others. We don't buy into the class system at all in Scotland. So everybody's equal from the Queen downwards or upwards, whichever way you look at it. But we just don't buy into the class system. So this working class, ordinary people, dump these old-fashioned labels. People are people, right? I thought Jethro was back for a second there. Oh, I like Jethro. He was fantastic. There we are. Colorado Springs. Howdy, brother. Dinky do. There we are. We're talking uh, footy on here, Cobrandis. Yes, we're just mentioning about the disappointment of last night from the Rangers point of view. But I hope every Celtic supporter was rooting for Rangers last night. We need to get into all this. There's a lot of things need tidying up. They've been allowed to flap in the wind for too long. So there we are. And I think that the booing of the national anthem just brought this out. I mean, you've got to remember that, uh, you know, Celtic and Rangers, exactly the same religious background. You know, very, very important. And you've got to remember that Protestant and Catholic, exactly, exactly the same religious background. In fact, every Christian is actually still. Catholic, you know, so every Rangers supporter is effectively Catholic, every loyalist, every orange person, Catholic, but not Roman Catholic. That's the slight, slight difference there. So there, used to really wind the skies us up. Well, Baberto, have another wee look. There we are, fantastic stuff. Uh, uh, check out the old uh, TikTok videos. That's what it's all about. Two more minutes, guys. Lovely, lovely. Get sharing. Thank you for my thousand likes this morning. How good is that? Tremendous stuff. Baberto, it's been such a privilege and a joy to have you on here from the Steel City. Uh, please pass on my love to the Steel City and to the beautiful people of Sheffield. So there we have it. Uh, it doesn't take much to wind the scouts up because they've got so many chips on their shoulders. You know, I think that's your problem. And, uh, uh, you know, really what's happening is they need to sort that. I mean, booing the national anthem in the presence of the Queen's grandson. What kind of half-witted idiot does that kind of thing? Do you know what I mean? 
Uh, you're not a fan of Liverpool then? Take I adore Liverpool, Cobrandist. Massive fan of Liverpool. That's why I'm so ashamed of the behaviour of some, some of the supporters. Not all. I mean, you just don't boo the national anthem. I mean, Liverpool's been able to behave for years. They were setting an example at some point to Glasgow. But uh, I can tell you, if Rangers had been playing, there wouldn't have been a peep out of anybody during the national anthem. Yes, Ishmael, yes. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very good morning to you. Hey, buddy. Hey, Nevada Blues. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you. We're only up for a few more minutes, guys. But I thought it was good to pop up live to let you know about all the TikTok videos and get following as soon as you possibly can. You don't boo the dead, but it didn't stop Man City fans at the FA Cup. Yeah, but Cobrandist, two wrongs don't make a right. That's not an excuse saying it was them. It wasn't us. They started it. Do you know what I mean? You don't boo at all. And they should be able to home in on the booers now and say, sorry, chum, lifetime ban for you. You need to learn to behave at the big matches. I got a new picture on the Vada Blues. Fantastic. A dinky do, I say to you. How good is that? Just amazing. Thank you, Ishmael. Nice to have you with us and a very good morning. And a big dinky do from Scotty McClue. Hannah's just joined us. Dinky do, Hannah. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. We're only up for another minute or two. Uh, now, who have we got here? Dinky do. Dinky do, everybody. So good that you could join us. And a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag Flutai, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and the world's most humble man. Uh, check out all the TikTok videos. Would you agree with the legislation to make protesting illegal then? No, Cobrandist. I think there should always be the right to peaceful protest because so many people died to get that right for the people. And you've just got mealy-mouthed politicians get worried about it. See, the big worry at the moment, they're very, very, very concerned about any form of civil unrest because the people are feeling so badly treated. So, you know, you're maybe only a horse hair away from Bastille. There we are. I am the world's illustrious man. Excellent Nevada Blues. Lovely to know you. Isn't booing a form of protest? No. Booing's just a form of rudeness. Do you know what I mean? I mean, if I was in Parliament, I would never boo the opposition. I might tut tut them. You know, that sort of idea. But no, it's not a form of protest, not a form of free speech. You know, it's not a form of, uh, of expression or anything like that. It's just downright bad manners through a lack of respect. And you would never, ever, ever, ever boo anything to do with the Queen. You know, I mean, that's just a serious no-no. So we need to get society back on track. People are getting very lax. The people need an uprising, says Alan. No, Alan, I don't think that's what we're needing at the moment. What we're needing is the government to step in and say, we'll handle the cost of living crisis for you. And we'll cut that and we'll sort things out. Don't worry. Uh, you know, I don't disagree with you. Just a conversation with the one and only Flotai. No, absolutely, Cobrandus. You know, I mean, wonderful people. There's been a lot of wonderful people over the years have fought to bring things in like that. The Blanketeers, you know, absolutely. You think about the Peterloo massacre. Uh, you know, the Luddites protesting against the steam engine. That all that's the Taff Vale Railway case, all these kind of things, the suffragettes. So people have fought too too long and too hard just for some uh, government to come in and say, no, no, we'll just put a stop to all this because we're frightened. They need to say, you know, can we just talk to you? Or there needs to be more talking. Uh, I think that's it. And a lot more shows like this. We need to increase that. That would be the big thing. We've got one minute, guys. One minute left. Fantastic stuff. So there's all that going on, but you never, ever boo at a football match. You'll see the video I've put up on TikTok, and it is shocking. You know, I mean, all you need to do, if you don't want to sing the national anthem, just 
shut your gobble. That's all you need to do and stand quietly. That can be your own one-person protest. So that's all we're needing. There should never be any booing. And the club should step in and say, uh, stop the booing. We're going to cancel the match. We'll cancel the match if the booing doesn't stop. And that's what, that's what the club should do. They say, uh, we're going to delay the kickoff because of the bad behavior of a few. And that's a, a sin to the many. That's what we do. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. So lovely to be with you this morning. Thanks for watching. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Stick out your tongues and say ta-ta. Ta-ta.